The first season of The House of the Dragon was a huge hit, and considering where the story of the already renewed second season will take us, it could become an even bigger one, with us seeing more and more fights with dragons and even more bloodshed, which brought me to today's video to give you a first look into things before the second season drops. Enjoy! One of the most long-awaited series of 2022 was House of the Dragon, the Game of Thrones prequel everyone has been waiting for, finally dropped its final episode of the first season. And when you take a look at the entire thing, the whole season maybe even turned out better than many of you expected, right? Now yes, I know that the story was shown in the first season, has already been written in Martin's books, but still it takes a lot of effort and creativity to deliver it to the live action, especially because of just how complex every character in the series is, as well as all the plots that are taking place at the same time. The series received a lot of strong reviews and praise from critics and audiences alike, and proved to be a huge hit when the HBO ratings are taken into consideration. The first season put lingering doubts in each and every one of us, there's no mistake, but I think it's time for me to turn the page and see what the future holds when the second season of the series drops. To say the least, the second season is expected to push the boundaries even further, especially following the dramatic end of the first season. And before I move forward, I'll warn you, there will be spoilers up ahead regarding the first season of the series, and with that out of the way, let me continue. After Aegon and Rhaenyra were both crowned, Aemon killed Lucerys just outside of Storm's End, which probably means that a civil war is on the horizon, one that will get bigger and bloodier moving forward. The series is pretty much set up to run for a few years, considering the source material and everything that needs to happen in future seasons of the TV show, but for now, I'll stick to the second season and tell you everything I know so far about it, and without further ado, let's dive right in. Unsurprisingly, shortly after the first season of the series, the second one was renewed by HBO, and considering how the eight seasons of Game of Thrones went, not paying too much attention to the last one, I'm pretty sure that this series will be a huge hit, just like its predecessor, but the renewal of the second season is also the only thing we got about the future of the series, with the third and so on, probably coming after the second season ends in the future. According to Martin, House of the Dragon could very well go on to have four seasons at least, if not more than that and I think we'll get more than just four seasons. Before I move forward with this video and the cast side of things, I'll shift my focus toward the people working behind the scenes of the show as there have already been shakeups in that department. For instance, co-showrunner Miguel Sapochnik will not be back for the second season, but his co-showrunner Ryan Condal will be back to hit that like button just like you should if you haven't done so already. But no, in reality, he'll be back for the second season of the series who will be joined by other big names such as Alan Taylor, who will be involved in the series as the director and the producer of several episodes of the upcoming season, who with his arrival will mark his return as yet another veteran of the infamous Game of Thrones series and having a say in things in the spin-off. Nothing has been said about the release date of the second season, but recent rumors suggest that we could get the second season to drop in a similar period in 2023 around September or October, just like the first season, with the filming side of things for the upcoming season scheduled to start in early 2023, and if 2023 goes by without the second season, then early 2024 is surely given. No official details have been given regarding the cast and who will return, but there are the main characters who will likely come back for the second season, including the likes of Emma de Arze as Rhaenyra Targaryen, she is the named heir to her father after all, and the writer of Cyrax, Matt Smith as Daemon Targaryen, Rhaenyra's uncle and second husband, Olivia Cook as Queen Alison Hightower, Viserys' wife and former friend of Rhaenyra, Rhys Afans, as Otto Hightower, Alicent's father and the most recent Hand of the King. Other cast members who will return will probably be Eve Best as Princess Rhaenys, Valerion, Viserys' cousin, and Lord Corlys' wife. Then there's Steve Toussaint as Lord Corlys, aka the Sea Snake, the head of House Valerian, Fabienne Frankel as Sir Kristen Cole, the commander of the Kingsguard. The younger cast members will also return, as we'll surely see more of Tom Glyn Carney as King Aegon II and the eldest son of Viserys, and Alicent who was crowned king in the ninth episode of the season, usurping his half-sister Rhaenyra. Fia Saban as Princess Helena Targaryen, Aegon's wife, who seems to have premonitions, a prophet of sorts, Ewan Mitchell as Prince Aemon Targaryen, a capable fighter who lost his eye at an early age, the second son of Viserys and Alison, Harry Collett as Prince Jocerys Valerian, Rhaenyra's eldest son, Bethany Antonia as Lady Bela Targaryen, and Phoebe Campbell as Lady Rhaena Targaryen, the twin daughters of Prince Daemon Targaryen. There are a lot more characters to be mentioned, 
but these will probably be the big time players in the second season. So I'll stop right here and move forward with the story at hand and everything it could encompass. The first season of House of Dragon essentially served as a prologue to the Dance of the Dragons, the most exciting storyline to come. The entire season covers around 20 years or so of King Viserys' rule, during which he names his eldest child, Princess Rhaenyra, as his heir, who keeps his pledge despite having three sons with his second wife, Queen Alicent. However, when he finally dies, his death triggers a succession crisis, one that will nearly destroy the Targaryens and the entire Westeros. So what will happen in the second season of the series? Where will the events take us next? The first season ended with Aegon II, Viserys' eldest son crowned king. After a scheme from the side of his mother, his grandfather, and the small council, Rhaenyra vows to smash that subscribe button and ring the notification bell. But no, in all seriousness, she vows to take the throne back as the rightful heir. However, in order for her to do that, she'll need the support of major houses, and even though she has more dragons than her enemy, she needs all the army and money she can get. This is the reason why she sends her sons, Jaceris and Lucerys, on Dragonback to deliver messages to various lords, and while visiting Storm's End, Lucerys and Aerys are drawn into battle with his uncle Aemon and Vhagar, after which Lucerys and Aerys are killed, which marks the first significant victim of the Targaryen civil war. His death will surely provoke Rhaenyra to seek revenge, and she has the perfect man for it, Daemon, a renowned warrior to deliver, with their bond explored even further throughout the second season of the series. Beyond vengeance, Rhaenyra will likely try to guard her soldiers and rely on other big houses in Westeros, which means that new characters will be coming to the second season. One thing that the second season will not do is a time jump, with the storytelling done in real time as showrunner Ryan Condal. Daemon's hiring of assassins from King's Landings under Belly will play through in the second season, along with his plan for vengeance on Lucerys' death. A plot that drives Helena to madness and enrages King Aegon II, a moment when the war truly gets underway. The first major battle takes place in the Riverlands, where Aegon loses and is left with no supporters in the Riverland. The battle is mostly followed by politicking, with both Rhaenyra and Aegon recruiting houses, which could all lead to a major cliffhanger at the end of the second season, a major dragon fight that takes place at Rook's Rest, the seat of House Staunton. The Greens lay siege to the castle, so Princess Rhaenys flies in on Malaise to lend firepower. Then there's Aegon on Sunfire and Aemon and Vagra, the three dragons fight, and all end up crashing. Only Aemon and Pegar emerge unscathed, Aegon and Sunfire severely wounded, and Rhaenys and Melis ripped to pieces, and Rhaenys burned to death. And that's all I've prepared for you today. See you in the next video.